made it! Oh, I told you I would. Right, let's get some high fives here. What picture would you like to make? Uh, an elephant! An elephant picture. That's a great idea. Now, what do elephants look like? A long trunk and some big ears. And they've got big ears, that's right, just like me. And what else should we have in our picture, do you think? Flamingos. Flamingos! And what colour are flamingos? Pink. Pink! All oh, brilliant ideas. I think we're ready, aren't we? Yeah. Let's make it together. We are making the elephant. We need to be careful because... This is our shop. <laughs> These are flamingos. I'm cutting in the beak. We making the grass. And we'll need a nice bright background. We're having lots of fun making our elephant picture. And that just gave me an idea. Why don't you make something too? Try making a funny flamingo pencil topper that you can write with. You will need modelling clay, a pencil and a pen, paper and scissors, a circle of card, a glue stick, sticky tape and stickers, a pipe cleaner and some feathers. Start by rolling two balls of modelling clay. They need to be about the same size. Then carefully push one end of the pencil into one of the modelling clay balls so that it stands up like this. When you've done that, push the other piece of modelling clay on top as this will become your flamingo's body. Next, take some paper and draw two wiggly lines that join up at each end and carefully cut this out for a beak. Stick this to the circle of card. Add stickers for eyes. And draw black dots for pupils. Now just add other details on the face and beak. Tape the head to the pipe cleaner. and carefully push the other end of it into the modelling clay body. Curl the pipe cleaner slightly to make a bendy neck. Push feathers into the body for wings and tape one to the top of the head. Now your flamingo pencil topper is finished, so take it out of the modelling clay stand and write with it. What a lovely idea! Why don't you try it? But first, let's see how our elephant picture's getting on. <laughs> That's it. Good work, Saseka. <laughs> well done, everyone. We made it together. Now that is a really wild picture. And then, finally, the brave knight battled the scary dragon. Wow! That knight is really brave! <laughs> the knight defeated the fire breather and rescued the beautiful princess. The end! Good night, Sammy. Sleep tight. Brave Sir Samuel has travelled many lands. He has faced many dangers, but this may be his most dangerous quest yet. Oh, save me, brave Sir Samuel! Save me from the evil dragon! Oh! Ha! You've done the best you got, you overgrown lizard! So, it's like that, huh? Take that!
dream there was a princess, and she was beautiful. Actually, she was kind of familiar. Uh, Sammy, can this wait? I'm pretty tired. No, I need to tell you everything right now. I thought you were going to say that. I'm gonna need some coffee. Huh? Sammy, you said there were magical creatures in your dream. Yeah, there were evil dragons and some huge birds and the most beautiful princess. I get it, Sammy. I have an idea for a craft. And you can help me, buddy. Brave Sir Samuel will always help a damsel in distress. <laughs> uh, right, let's get to work. I'm going to need this piece of cardboard to sketch out some shapes. Hey, Sue, when you're done, can you make me an awesome shield? <laughs> sure, anything for Sir Samuel. Brave Sir Sam Sue, get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, brave Sir Samuel. Anyway, I've cut out the shapes already. And I've made a bend in these pieces. That's pretty important for later. I'm gonna need a glue gun for this to stick the cardboard together. We need extra sturdiness to make it soundproof. <laughs> what are you making, Sue? Is it another enemy for me to battle? Who knows, Sammy? Maybe eventually you'll become great friends. <laughs> now, I need to glue all these pieces together. Just like this. Uh, I'm missing something. Sammy, have you seen my popsicle sticks? Uh, no. I've got no idea what you are talking about. <laughs> Don't worry, good sir. I've got lots more. I'm just glad you're here to keep me safe. This popsicle stick will go through this hole. This way. Now I can attach this piece of cardboard. How's it looking, Sammy? Nah, the important thing is you tried, Sue. That's all that matters. <laughs> it's not finished yet. I just wanted to know your opinion on this part. Ooh, I thought our production budgets were being slashed. I can't wait to see how it turns out then. I'll make it nice and colorful. Let's give this little bird a face. Wait, if you meant to make a bird, where's the beak? You got it, Sammy. This will be the beak. But it's not quite right just yet. That's more like it. Uh, but where are the wings? I'm way ahead of you, my friend. Mm -hmm. That's why you are the brains of this operation, Sue. And I'm the looks, the dashingly handsome lump of slime. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Here's what's next. I just need to stick this soda cap to the popsicle stick like this. And that's it. It's ready. Wow, Sue, that's awesome. But this bird is no enemy of mine. He can be my trusty sidekick. Oh, wait till you see the best part, Sammy. Watch this. Yes, got it. Wow, that was so cool, Sue. Do it again. It will make a great bank for all your money, right? And all the riches I find on my quest. So, I never finished telling you about my amazing dream. So, that evil dragon was like... All the thoughts, Sam. I have another idea for a craft. Uh, one thousand and one. Uh, one thousand and two. One thousand and... Oh, what are you up to this time? My body is a temple, Sue. I have to maintain it. Great nights just have to be feet, you know? Obviously, this gives me an idea. Hey, Sam, you don't want to get close to big scary dragons, do you? Nope, I don't want to be barbecued. <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. I have something that will help you on your quest. <sighs> something to distract me. Working out is hard. No pain, no gain, my friend. I'm going to be in a lot of pain later, Sue. I know it. I'll start by drawing a lot of the paper. Now I need to bend it over like this. I got this, Sue. I'm a bodybuilder now. Remember? <laughs> Come on. What is this made of? Let me show you a little trick, bodybuilder. Watch closer. Sometimes it's better to work smart, not hard. Well, I have made it for you anyway. Oh, you did, Sammy. And thanks for all your help. <laughs> I don't want to roll the cardboard all the way. I'll just draw two lines, here and here. Now I'll make a small cut. And on the other side too. Hop! Hey, Sammy, can you pass me that rubber band? How is this going to help me, Sue? Trust me, you are going to love it. Now let's stick it together. We don't want it to come apart during your adventures. 
I like your thinking, Sue. Let's bend it into a Y shape. It can be a little tricky, though. Uh-huh. And like this. Well, check this out. How do you like it? Wow! It's a catapult! It's just what I've always wanted, Sue. Give me that! Give me that! We're almost done with it. We just need one more thing. Now we're talking! Wow! Truly! It's everything I've ever wanted! <laughs> Ready? Aim! Fire! Wow! Glorious! Okay, hand it over. Target acquired! Go, go, go! Uh, we'll pretend that never happened. This is the best thing ever! I'll never get bored of this! My most dangerous foe yet! But that's okay, I've got my catapult! Oh! Sammy, don't do that! Give me that! Oh no! I need to get out of here! So long, Sue! You'll never catch me! <laughs> Wait, Sue! Make my parachute quick! Sammy! Sammy! I got you! Oh, I should have known this was a bad idea! And then there was a huge burst of flames! But I wasn't scared at all! Oh, Sammy! Can't you tell me this in the morning? It was a dragon, Sue! An actual dragon! Can you believe it? A dragon, huh? Yep! It had wings, sharp teeth, and definitely wasn't a stuffed toy! A stuffed toy? Forget I said that! It was a totally scary real dragon! I'm going to create something extra special this time! It's going to be like the dragon from Sam's dream! Except it won't be soft and cuddly! Oh, Sammy's going to be so surprised! Did someone say surprise? Is it ice cream? Mmm, I could use a midnight snack! Just don't make a mess, Sammy! I can't promise anything, Sue! <laughs> Oh, Sammy, Sammy. <laughs> mm. Sue, we're out of chocolate ice cream. But there were three cartons. Not anymore. And why am I not surprised? <laughs> Hop. All done. The dragon is going to need heat, right? Is that what I think it is? If you mean a totally awesome dragon, then yeah, it is! This is going to be awesome! <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I got it, Sam! That was pretty funny! And our pretty dragon is almost ready! These foam sheets will give him some additional texture and make it look even more fearsome! That's it, Sammy! We are done here! Ah, wings! It's like you were in my dream, Sue! Wait until you see this! <laughs> I think our dragon is hungry! Hey, Tibidaba! He doesn't scare brave slimes! <sighs> He's getting late! Yeah, it's been a busy night! You know, I think it's time for bed! What do you say? Oh. Sammy? Hello? Aw, he looks so cute! It's been a long night. We've made some really cool things. You can have a look at them while I put Sam to bed. Princess, I have returned. I've traveled many miles, found countless treasures, but nothing is as precious as you. Oh, brave Sir Samuel. Oh. Um, hey, friend. This is supposed to be a romantic moment. Do you mind? Wow, the Houses of Parliament! <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, what's this? It's a Mini Maker postcard! Let's see what we've been sent today. My name is Anais. I am five years old. I made a crown for you and I get some paper, shiny blue, and I put glitter and I glue. You think I am beautiful? Hi, Mr. Maker. My name is Liam. I come from Australia. And this is my picture. It's textured houses. We painted cardboard and put patterns on it. I hope you like my textured picture, Mr. Maker. Oh, what fantastic ideas. 
Why don't you try some of them? <laughs> oh, it's the maker phone. Oh, some mini makers are calling. Hello, Mr. Maker. My name's Lauren. I'm from Hong Kong, and these are my friends. Hello. Can you help us make a picture? Oh, that sounds like a great idea. I'm on my way. I'll be with you for a high five in five, four, three, two, one. We're in Hong Kong. I made it. I made it. I told you I would. High fives, everyone. What picture would you like to make today? Yeah. A bird picture. Oh, I love birds. And what colours will the birds be? Yellow. Blue. Rainbow. Rainbow. Oh, lovely. And where will these birds live? On a tree. On a tree. On a tree. In the tree house. And how do the birds get in the trees? Fly. They fly there. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Great ideas, everyone. Let's make it together. We're making branches of the trees. I've finished. These are the leaves. We need to be careful because scissors are sharp. Here are the birds. And we need a coloured background. We're having great fun here and making our big bird picture has just given me an idea. Why don't you make something too? Try making a brightly coloured bottle bird as a bedroom pet. You will need an old clean plastic bottle and kitchen foil, tissue paper, glue and a brush, coloured paper strips, a pen, scissors and stickers. First, scrunch a ball of foil around the top of a bottle. Now stick pieces of coloured tissue paper all over the bottle with gloopy glue. It looks good if you use more than one colour of tissue paper. Then leave it to dry. Next, take coloured paper strips and wrap them around a pen to make lots of different coloured curly feathers. Stick curls on the sides of the bottle for wings. On its head to make a curly crest and on the back of the bottle for tail feathers. Then fold a big curl in half for a beak and carefully cut a point like this. Then stick it onto the head. Finally, add black dots to stickers for eyes and stick them on. Your brilliant bottle bird is finished and ready to play with. What a lovely idea. Why don't you try it? But right now, let's get back to our big bird picture. That's it. We made it together. Yay! Wow, those tropical birds are colourful, aren't they? Oh, what a fantastic arty adventure we've had. Remember, wherever you are in the world, get making. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Oh, it's Toki. <laughs> ah, time to go. Oh, thanks, Toki. I'll be home soon. <laughs> well, that's it for now. My making time's over, but yours is just beginning. It's time to put the marvellous maker case back in its box.